Hello guys and welcome back to another Hunters Prestige fitment video. On today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to fit the Ambilight extension kit. Now this is based off already having the Ambilight fit to the car. And of course, if you are left-hand drive or right-hand drive, the actual wiring will be on the other side. Let's get started. To fit our Hunters Ambient Light Extension Kit, you will need wire guides, head torch, trim tool, a pick, a T20 and T30 torque bit, electric ratchet, a 10 mm socket, 7 mm socket, felt tape, masking tape, and a ratchet. This video will show how to fit on a right-hand drive car, but the same steps can be followed for a left-hand drive vehicle if flipped. The first step is to check you have all these parts shown from your extension kit. You should have a wire loom, four LEDs, two LED holder brackets, and four retaining screws for the brackets. To start, using a T30 bit, unscrew the four bolts holding the dashboard end on. Using a seven mm socket, remove the three screws from here. Gently remove and unclip the lighting fixture. Which is found here. Insert the new light here like so and discard the old light. Repeat for the other side. Grab your wire guide. Attach the long wire to the end using tape. In both footwells, peel back the corner of the lining closest to the seats. Carefully pass the wire guide. Run the longer part of the loom on the driver's side to the back of the car in between the center console and the seat. Using a trim tool, release the connector like so. Using the release clip, separate the connectors. Remove the red casing using the pick from the female side of the connector. Using the red clip as a guide, which is labelled with numbers, locate 8. Release the female wire pin. This is a yellow cable. Grab the blue male connection, which is the larger of the two, and insert to the female connection. Apply felt tape to hold this in place. Insert the blue female connector, which again is the larger of the into number eight until you feel a click. Wiggle the wire to make sure the connector is in properly. Using the red guide again, locate number six. Release the connector, which is one single green and brown wire. Insert the smaller blue male connector to the now removed green and brown female connector, secure with felt tape. Now reinsert the blue smaller female connector to number six until you feel a click. Wiggle the wire to confirm it's inserted correctly and reinsert the red guide, making sure it's flush. Reattach both plugs and clip back into the original position. Attach the black earth cable to the 10 mm bolt located to the right of the connector. Release the bolt using a ratchet and 10 mm socket. Don't remove completely. Insert the spade connector underneath the bolt and re-tighten. It should look like this. Tuck the loose wires behind the lining 
and run the cable that runs through to the back seats underneath the center console panel. Reinsert the lining. Wrap the old cable we previously released from the cover with felt as to stop any rattling. Attach the new connector to the LED plight in the cover. Refit the cover using the guides behind the foot pedals and reinsert 7mm bolts using a ratchet. Reattach the dashboard ends and repeat on the other side. Move the seats all the way forwards and up. Locate the hole for the screws and attach the brackets at the back underneath both seats. Try not to tighten them too much, as there is only a small amount of plastic holding them in and it could break. Insert the LED light into the bracket. Then plug the female and male connectors together to power the LED. Move the seat back fully and run the cable which is between the seats and the center console through the opening of the seat bracket. This is so the wire doesn't snag when the seat is moving back and forward. With the remaining wire, loop them into a bundle and seal with felt tape. Using a cable tie, attach the wire to the underneath of the seat. Repeat on the other side. Using the screen, check all lights are operational. Try all different colors, functions and luminosities. The best way to do this is in the dark.
So there you go guys, that is the end of our ambient light extension kit. Um, it is a little bit more of a complicated fitment video compared to all of our other previous videos. So I hope it is clear and informative as possible. If you have any questions regarding the installation of this product, please get in contact with our sales team. Alternatively, drop your questions in the comment section below. See you on the next video.